Greetings everyone! In today's video we'll be taking a close look at the mysterious skeleton giant of Kenshi, Stobe. There are a lot of theories surrounding him, but nobody knows what Stobe exactly is. In this video we'll be going through all the available information about Stobe and doing some theory crafting as well. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Stobe is a giant skeleton that has perished many centuries ago. His remains can be found in a place that was named after him, the Stobes Garden. Even though he looks like a giant skeleton, he was a member of an entirely different type of skeletons. All skeletons are ancient and can trace their creation back to the ancient empire that existed thousands of years ago. But the type of skeletons Stobe belongs to is even older. They were called the behemoths. Before Kenshi became a barren wasteland, it was home to a thriving civilization that was so technologically advanced, they were building giant robots to serve and protect them. But after they saw how powerful their creations were, they have decided to exterminate them for their own safety. They destroyed all the behemoths and it sparked the skeleton uprising that brought upon the collapse of Kenshi and near extinction of the human race. All behemoths are buried in a place that is called the Obedience, all except one. Nobody knows for sure what Stobe really was, except that he was a giant skeleton. People of Kenshi have forgotten almost everything about the old world, and the only reminders of those times are the ancient ruins covered in sand. Even though all skeletons originated from the ancient empire, even they started to forget most things due to their need in replacing their CPU in order to avoid becoming insane over time, which erases their memory. But even though they forgot most things, they still remember Stobe. Most skeletons in Kenshi have a great deal of love and respect for Stobe. According to them, he saved all of the skeletons and even humans from certain extinction by sacrificing himself. But what did Stobe protect everyone from? What was threatening the entire world so much that it would destroy it? There are a great many theories about it, but only a few clues. One of these clues is a giant missile laying around the area where Stobe's remains are. There are many rusty ruins and pieces of metal laying around in Kenshi, some even fell down from the sky as old satellites and remains of spaceships. But this particular missile seems to be the answer to Stobe's demise. As I mentioned earlier, the destruction of Behemoths brought upon a worldwide skeleton uprising. Technology was much more advanced back then, and the scale of destruction during the Civil War was enormous. After humans realized that they were going to lose the war, they have decided to take extreme measures. Even though they knew that destroying their planet would mean destroying their civilization as well, they couldn't allow skeletons, the machines they themselves created, to take over and make humans their slaves. And so they decided to destroy everything, instead of giving anything. This missile was most likely a doomsday device that was meant to eradicate everything on this planet or even destroy the planet itself. Nobody knows how exactly it happened, but Stop managed to stop this weapon before it could destroy anything. But in order to do so, he had to sacrifice his own life. Since the world isn't destroyed and the Stobe's remains are mostly intact, it is safe to assume that the missile didn't detonate in any way. The demise of Stobe still remains a mystery. Maybe he was destroyed after he stopped this weapon as an act of final defiance by humans or he was damaged too much during the act of stopping it. But one thing remains certain, people of Kenshi are still alive. Some of them know that Stobe saved them, some of them don't, but all of them live thanks to him. This is it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, and if you're interested in content like this, consider subscribing. If you have any ideas for future episodes or want to leave some feedback, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye everyone.